Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on whatever time you're watching my video. I'm not sure why it's relevant, but my name is Sally Watson. I chose this story because, if we're being honest, my internet sucks, and I needed to have enough time to finish it and turn it in before the due date. If you're like me and only watching presentations, uh, welcome to The Very Old Man with Enormous Wings. The Very Old Man with Enormous Wings is a tale for children. This short story is written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez and published in 1955 in Spanish. It was then published in English in 1977. Gabriel was known as Gabo or Gobito throughout Latin America. Gobito means little Gabriel. He was named after his father, Gabriel. Marquez was born in 1927 in the small town of Arcacata in a tropical region of northern Colombia between the mountains and the Caribbean Sea. He grew up with his maternal grandparent. His grandfather was a pension colonel from the Civil War at the beginning of the century. He went to a Jesuit college and began to read law, but his studies were soon broken off for his work as a journalist. In 1954, he was sent to Rome on an assignment for his newspaper, and since then he has mostly lived abroad in Paris. New York, Barcelona, and Mexico, in a more or less compulsory exile. Besides his large publishers of fiction, he has written screenplays and has continued to work as a journalist. The short story, A Very Old Man with Enormous Wings, tells the story of Peleo and his wife, Elisenda, who finds an old man with wings in their courtyard. After killing crabs in a rainstorm, Paleo gets his wife and they try to communicate with him, but is very unsuccessful. They eventually get their neighbor woman, who doesn't have a name, she's known as neighbor woman throughout the whole story, who informs them that the old man is an angel. She tells them that the angel is on its way to collect their sick child. They put the angel in their chicken coop and during the middle of the night, their child's fever breaks. They decide to let him go, but when they return to the courts at dawn, the entire community is there to see this angel. Father Gonzaga soon arrives, declaring that the old man is a fake. He promises to get the real truth from the higher courts of church. The news of the angel spreads quickly, and the courtyards soon resemble a marketplace. Elisanda then has the idea of charging five cents for an admission fee. They become very rich off the money that people pay them to see this angel. Rome takes its time deciding on whether the old man is an angel or if he's fake. And while waiting for their verdict, Father Gonzaga works desperately to restrain the crowd. The crowd leaves on its own because a carnival boasting a spider girl arrives in town. Spectators are allowed to question her and she tells them how she turned into a tarantula one night for disobeying her parents. This spider girl appeals to most more than an old winged man who ignores the people around him. The curious crowds soon leave the angel for the spider, leaving Paleo's courtyards deserted. Paleo and Alessandra build a mansion with all the money they have accumulated. They neglect the angel and prevent their child from getting too close to the chicken coop. The winged man soon becomes a part of their life and they no longer fear him. After a while, the chicken coop breaks and they allow the man to move around their house freely, which causes Alessandra much distress. The angel gets increasingly frail and sickly, and they fear he may die. He then recovers, and Elisanda watches him fly away. Theme number one is faith. Faith is one of the essential themes in this short story. People in the community show an inconsistency of faith. In the story, Marquez focuses on the weakness of the faith of people. The author adds the angel as a symbol of faith in God. Despite this, the villagers question the external characteristics of the angel. According to Marquez, the angel seemed too much of a human. When the spider woman, who was another mythical creature, arrived in town, the villagers lost their interest in the old man. Also, Marquez states that the villagers asked her all sorts of questions while she narrated her story. As a result, the villagers believed her story behind her transformation, unlike the old man who ignored everyone around him. Another theme evident in the story is supernatural. Here, the old man is viewed as creepy, supernatural, or spiritual. The spider girl is also viewed as supernatural, and the people are curious about their origins. 
Suffering is another theme portrayed throughout the story. The man enters the yard in bad conditions and seems to get worse. He is also subjected to all the questions the villagers are asking. He is poked, prodded, neglected, and kept in a chicken coop. One of the most visible symbols is the old man with wings. Here, this old man is perceived as an angel. He is used to symbolize the unknown or unfamiliar that seems to be appearing in the civilized community that Marquez lives in. However, the angel in the story is not treated like a heaven-sent creature. The angel in this perspective symbolizes the faith people have in whatever they believe in. As a result, apart from having wings, the people were not entirely convinced that he was a real angel. The chicken coop is equally symbolic. It is used to show the boxed belief that people in the community have. When people from different places came to know that the old man was an angel, they could plug and prod at him in an attempt to test who he really was. However, the old man does not meet their expectations. This is a clear indication that the community has boxed its ideas into what they believe. Spider Roman is another symbol. She is used to show the introduction of another freak of nature. This woman shows the faith the people of this community had and how they could easily be swayed when the new creature arrived. As a result, people shifted their attention to the spider who could eat mothballs and ignored the existence of the old man with wings. I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk about the very old man with enormous wings. Have a great day, great afternoon, or great night. Goodbye!